Hello everyone, I am your host from The Unthinkable, and in order to streamline more content that I come across daily, I'm beginning a new series called The Unthinkable Daily. And this is really for articles of true crime that I come across that may not have as many details or history attached to it that would facilitate the need for a fully edited video. So in short, The Unthinkable Daily will be shorter form videos that will include events from all over the world that involve true crime and mystery events and I'll likely include some of my own personal thoughts in these videos as well as we continue to delve into these cases so I want to thank everyone who has followed me and those who continue to watch and support my content I appreciate each and every one of you and hopefully you'll continue to vibe out with me and my page over this added form of short to the point content as I continue to bring you my normal content here on The Unthinkable. Once again, thank you all, and this is the first official short form episode to kick things off, so here we go. So this article came across my radar, and it's about a man named Patrick D. Profried, and this is a 26-year-old man who allegedly got into an argument with his wife, and in a moment of what you can only surmise was rage and anger, he picked up a crossbow and fired a bolt directly at his wife. But the part that makes this story even more unbelievably tragic is that his wife was holding their three-week-old daughter. So I'm gonna read directly from the news article that we have here. The article says, a New York man was arrested and charged with murder after his three-week-old infant daughter was shot with a crossbow Monday morning. Deputies responded to a home in Colesville at around 5.14 a.m. following reports that an infant and a woman had been shot with a crossbow. According to a preliminary investigation, Patrick, age 26, had allegedly gotten into an argument with his wife and fired a crossbow at her while she was holding their three-week-old daughter. The broadhead boat hit the baby in the upper torso and and exited near her armpit before it hit her mother in the chest. Patrick allegedly removed the boat and attempted to stop the woman from calling 911, then fled the scene in a red 2016 Dodge Ram pickup truck before responding deputies arrived. The article says that deputies and paramedics tried to save the infant whom law enforcement identified as Eleanor M. Carey but she was pronounced dead at the scene. Her mother was taken to a local hospital. There was no update on her condition as of late. Patrick was found in the woods less than a mile from the home. Authorities said he had gotten his truck stuck in the mud. He was arrested and charged with second degree murder, second degree attempted murder, and first degree criminal contempt for violating an order of protection said that he had a history of domestic incidents with the victim and an active stay away order of protection in place. Uh, So this case is incredibly sad. This wife and mother did everything she could to try and escape an abusive situation. She did everything the law says that you're supposed to do and it's sad that it still wasn't enough. This is why it's so very important for women to vet the men that they choose to spend their lives with and be around and co-parent children with because once you're in a situation like this it is extremely difficult to escape even if you take the necessary steps to protect yourself afterwards and I know every situation is different and sometimes the signs that someone is capable of doing harm aren't always there from the from the beginning and when the monster pulls back its hood to reveal themselves You know, sometimes it's just too late. But it's a shame that this man in a fit of rage completely disregarded the presence of his three-week-old daughter and as a result, ended up taking her life. What a ridiculously sad turn of events.